What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and I'm extremely excited to announce to you my next Advanced Balkan Architect course. And the topic for this course is going to be schedules in Revit. So schedules are one of those overlooked uh, topics in Revit just because they're, well, they're not as interesting as rendering or parametric design or massing or things like that. But schedules are extremely important, uh, especially if you're working as a uh, real architect. When you're a student, it's not that important just because uh, usually in architecture schools today uh, professors don't ask you to uh, provide much uh, building information but later on uh, if you're a an actual architect working in the profession you are going to have uh, quite a need for scheduling uh, well pretty much everything you model in Revit so I decided to make an extensive course uh, on schedules in Revit it's a three-hour course so it's quite long it has pretty much everything you need to know about schedules in Revit. Uh, I tried to go through and explain how to use all of the tools and features that Revit has on offer when it comes to schedules and not only how to use them in one way but all the different ways or, or approaches that you can use these tools for. So it's a very complex uh, tool or a very complex area so I decided to, to create a, a longer uh, course like this. Now this course uh, will be available on my Patreon, first a link in the description. Uh, now if you go to my Patreon, if you sign up uh, at the Advanced Balkan Architect Courses tier, you will get access to all of my courses. Now I've got over uh, 45 hours of content out there and today uh, part one of this course is going to be up, so that's uh, the first hour and then after that I'm going to be uploading the next uh, couple of hours hours uh, for each week. So one hour each week for the next three weeks. So that's that's the approach that I'm doing with this course. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions and comments, you can uh, just uh, write them down and I'll answer them there on my Patreon. So again, as I said, first link in the description. Now, I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the course and just try to explain everything uh, and all of the tools and features and pretty much all of the content that you will get access to if you choose to join the uh, join my patreon and take a look at this course so let's uh, let's go to Revit and then uh, let's just go over everything that I show in this course so let's go now this is the building that I'm going to be using for this entire course and if you join my patreon you will get access to a complete 12 hour course where I show you how to build this whole building. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be creating is a simple room schedule, uh, but through this room schedule, I'm going to be explaining all of the little tools and features. So I'm going to go in depth into how to create fields. Uh, so uh, when you go to edit one of these for the schedule properties, I talk everything that you need to know about fields, also about filters, how to filter out your schedules so it, they only show exactly what you want to show. And I don't mean the deleting fields, just hiding them inside of the schedule. Then I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about uh, sorting and grouping just so you can have an elegantly laid out schedule like I have over here. Then also about formatting, uh, appearance, and so on. Uh, I also show you how to kind of use some of the uh, additional tools that you get here on the modify tab when you're inside of a schedule. So I go over all of those options. Uh, moving on, I also show you how to highlight uh, some of the uh, important things in your schedule and how to actually use some rules and let Revit highlight for you exactly what information needs to be highlighted. Also, I show you how to create this uh, cool percentage of area schedule. So as you can see for each room, I show how much, uh, how, uh, what is the percentage that this takes out of the uh, whole uh, floor plan, so that's really useful. And then also I show you how to use the how to create this uh, material uh, finish uh, uh, part of the schedule with wall finishes, uh, floor finishes, as well as ceiling finishes. It's all grouped under finishes. And here uh, I don't input all of this information manually. I show you how to create another cool uh, room style schedule. And this little schedule is parametric 
parametrically connected with this schedule and it inputs all of the information for you so it saves you a lot of time so I think this is really cool uh, next I also show you how to create this called panel schedule and uh, it's uh, we're not really talking about graphics here we're talking about calculations uh, how to create all of the necessary parameters that you want to create and uh, just all of the uh, important stuff for uh, pulling out uh, all of the information out of your model moving on I show you how to insert images inside of your uh, inside of your uh, schedules so here as you can see we have a door schedule now there are uh, a couple of types of images you have type images and then you have regular images now these are a bit different and you have to use a different approach and you use each uh, type for a different task so I show you when you would use one of these and then when would you use another now another really cool way of using images and schedules is for a schedule like this so this is a rebar schedule and as you can see here we have uh, some uh, rebar parts and let me just go here into the 3d model just so you can see what we have so this is what we're working with this is just some a rebar schedule uh, or a uh, rebar inside of a uh, beam and then here in the schedule I show you how uh, how can you use all of that information here and create a bending schedule so here we have a shape image and then for all of these values we have information here uh, inside of the schedule so I think it's really useful for uh, creating a bending schedule for your rebar and it's another way that you can use uh, images inside of schedules to uh, add additional information moving on I show you how to create this material takeoff schedule now for material takeoff schedules they can be uh, a bit complex just because some materials you want to calculate by their area and then for other materials you want to calculate by their volume so I show you how to create one schedule and then divide it into two schedules so here we have a schedule for walls here as you can see we have all of the wall layers and then I'm calculating the cost in this schedule by only the materials where I want to calculate by area like the flooring and the insulation and then here we have the material takeoff by volume where we calculate the uh, price uh, for all of the materials that you would calculate for volume with volume like concrete or gravel so I show you all of that uh, moving on I show you how to create a sheet list and not only how to create a sheet list to view all of the sheets that you have but also how can you use these sheet lists to generate views a bit easier and just to uh, help you save time in that area moving on uh, sticking to the same uh, uh, options like the sheet list is the view list now here as you can see we have a list uh, of all the views they're all sorted by the type so here we have 3d views uh, building elevation views, uh, building section views, and so on and so forth. And then you can see on which sheet, uh, which view is located. And maybe if you have missed placing some of the sheets or if uh, some of the sheets are on the wrong views, you can visualize everything within this one schedule. And also I show you how to create this project notes. Uh, schedule so this is a schedule that allows you to well create project notes so when you have notes in your project it's really annoying to have too much text on your floor plans so if I just go here to the floor plan as you can see here we have just a bunch of these little note families so it's just uh, saying okay this is note number one and then you go here into project notes and it says okay fix that uh, so it's a really cool uh, schedule that allows you to keep your floor plans clean of any text so you would just add these note families which I show you how to create and then you create a schedule which you can later on place on a sheet next to your uh, floor plan just so you can have all of that information included okay so that covers this whole course it's uh, very exciting uh, I go in depth into all of the topics so if you're interested in checking this out check out my patreon again as I said first link in the description of this video also you can find all of the project files like this extremely complex office building and also the whole 12 hour course for this office building okay so thank you for uh, watching this little announcement for uh, this a course that's going to be uploading during the next three weeks one hour each week starting from this week so uh, stay tuned for that thank you for watching and have a nice day